Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm in a different kind of location today. I'm also in my pajamas. <laughs> it's, it's just one of those kind of days where you just don't want to get ready and you just want to sit in your pajamas. But I thought I would film a video about how to change your wheels, um, change your bearings and clean your bearings because I have come across a few uh, skaters who don't know how to change their wheels. So I thought this would be a valuable kind of video to make. Also, don't mind my housemate, she's just vacuuming. But we'll get started. So this is what you'll need. Coffee is optional. Um, so you'll need pins or like a safety pin, a tea tool or a crab tool to take the nuts off your skates. Um, you'll need your skates, obviously. Um, I use a little plastic container and I use the Better Bearings uh, bearing wash, but you can use acetone, I believe, and there are a few other things you can use. That's basically what you need to clean your bearings. So to get started, you wanna grab your skates. I grab my tea tool and you use the like medium side. Sorry, my tea tool's a bit gross. You use the medium side. The large side is for your trucks, these nuts. And this side, I don't actually think there's a use for that um, with roller skates, but would correct me if I'm wrong. So you start by Popping it on and figuring out which way loosens it. Loosen it all the way. If you have a crab tool, you'll notice that on the inside of the tool, there's like a little like nut shaped um, like hole. You can pop that on and use that to take it off. There you go, you've got one wheel off. You can definitely see how dirty my bearings are, at least on the outside. This side, yeah. They're pretty dirty, so they're definitely due for a clean. You just wanna keep your nuts aside, put them on the side, don't lose them. I'm just gonna put you in a little time lapse and take my legs off. Okay, so we now have our wheels off our skates and we've got our nuts on the side and I'm gonna show you how to take your bearings out of the wheels using your axle. Okay, so first thing you want to do is grab the wheel that has the bearing in it and you got to do this carefully. So you pop it on the axle like this, like kind of just in enough so it's on the bearing and you pull up like that and then just carefully, they sometimes get stuck, pop it out and there's your bearing and you can see all the stuff on my hands from that. And go around to the other side. And you want to be careful when you do this. Don't put it in too far, just enough that it can pop it out. Perfect. So now you can see I've got my pile of bearings here. You can also see how dirty my hands got from that. So I might go wash them. So if you have a look, you can see all the gunk building up my bearings they still spin fine they're still good there's nothing wrong with them we just need to give them a clean so that they don't um, get rusty or clogged up or anything like that this is where your pin comes in so what you want to do is what you want to do is on the inside pop that just under the cap of the bearing and you can pop it off that and it'll expose the ball bearings underneath you can see how dirty this cap is. So I'm just going to go and do that for all of my bearings. You can really see just how dirty even just the casings are. Like, pretty gross. But we'll give these a wipe down and a clean as well. This is where your container and your bearing wash comes into play. So you've got all your bearings. Pop them in your container. And you just want to use enough acetone or bearing cleaner just to cover the bearing. Like that. 
We put the lid on. Generally, I like to use containers that have screw on lids so they don't leak. But this one will have to do. Make sure it's on properly. And then. So that's what it looks after it's been shaken, shook for a few minutes. Do this for a few minutes and then just leave them to sit. Um, and the Better Bearings wash says don't leave them to sit for more than 10 minutes. You can see after just a few minutes of shaking how dirty the <laughs> the wash has gotten in comparison to how clear it normally is. So this is getting rid of all of the dirt out of your bearings. So I'm just gonna leave this to sit for a few minutes. One thing I did forget to mention you'll need is pep towel to lay your bearings on. So now, after about 10 minutes, this is what the water looks like. It's pretty murky. I'm gonna go tip it out. You can see all the dirt and stuff in there. Tip it out and come and dry the bearings. Okay, so my bearings are all uh, clean. I'm going to tip them out. One thing that on the bottle of the bearing wash it says to do is spin the bearings a bit to get the water out or the, the wash out. So I do that for all of them. So those have all been spun to get the excess out. So now I just wipe them down on the paper towel. Get any excess off the top and any like dirt off. So they're all done. So I'm gonna grab some more paper towel and lay them out nicely in the sun, and they should dry pretty quickly when they're in the sun. Otherwise, I'd probably normally let them sit overnight, but I am going skating this afternoon, so I will uh, need to put them back on my skates. So I lay them with the bearings face up. You can see that the other side's like flat, like the opposite. So just lay them down, bearings up. In the sun. So they should dry relatively quickly. While we wait for them to dry, I'll take this piece of paper towel that I used before and clean off the casings. there nice and clean and then pop them somewhere so with some bearings they'll come with two kind of um with cases or uh, guards shields so one will go on the front and then the second one will go on the back so if you have some like that then you need to take both casings off when you uh, clean them. Oh. <laughs> but I typically don't put them, the second ones back on. These ones didn't come with the second set. These bearings, the ones that these belong to, did come with two. I just normally use the one. Another thing I like to do while I'm waiting for my bearings to dry is just wipe out the insides of my wheels. You see they get a bit dusty. Just give them like a wipe out with just some paper towel. Just so they're all nice and clean. You can see how much dirt kind of builds up in there. And that's just from skating around your wheels and your bearings to pick up the with the dust and stuff on the ground depending on what kind of ground you skate on if you skate inside you're probably not going to get like only inside you're probably not going to get this much build up but because i do mainly ramp skate and street skate you definitely i definitely need to do this every couple of months or so and by cleaning your bearings and your wheels and stuff like that you can help um increase the longevity of them and how long they last for so now we just wait for these babies to dry. All right, so I'm back a few hours later and ready to put the caps back on the bearings. This part is optional. I have the Better Bearing Lube, um, so I use this every time I clean my bearings. So 
so what you do with the lube, you just get one drop in there and then just spin it to get it going. And I basically just do that for all of them. And then to put the cap back on, grab the cap, make sure it's uh, silver side down, straight on top and you just pop them in. Just run your fingers around, you'll feel it pop in and you'll be able to see like that. Back to basically the way they were when I first took them out, except now they're clean. So I'm going to go and do that to all of my bearings and I'll be back. Just one thing to note, when you're putting the bearing caps back on, if you don't apply pressure to both sides at the same time, one side will go in a bit uh, too far and get stuck. So try and place the pressure like evenly across and then move it around in your fingers. That will make sure that the caps go on properly. Alrighty, now that we've got our bearings all clean, all ready to go back into our wheels, I'll show you two different methods of doing that. So one requires your skate and the axle and the second one doesn't. So it depends on what kind of wheels you have. You can see with these fun day wheels, they've got this uh, bit on the inside, which I guess stops the bearings from going all the way through and it kind of like holds the bearings in place. So with these wheels, they're really easy. You can just pop the bearing in and push it in. You'll be able to see it's in all the way around. On the other side, you can see it's been stopped by that bit in the middle. And you can also get other side and push it in. It can be a little bit um, tough on your fingers or a bit sore uh, when you do the whole eight wheels, but it does work. Some wheels, um, these are a bit harder wheels. Some soft wheels can be a bit hard to push in because the wheel itself um, like moves um, because it's so squishy, I guess. So the second way you can do it is grab your bearing. Oh, grab your wheel, grab your bearing and grab your skate. What you want to do is you want to place it with the cap, like the cap faces outwards. So you want to place that cap down onto the axle. And then the same thing, your wheel down. And then you use pressure to push it in. And then you can see it's gone in all the way properly. This can, um, it, it, they can go in a bit like wonky if you don't apply same kind of thing with the bearing caps um, pressure evenly like that and it's in properly so I'm gonna go ahead and put all my bearings back in my wheels but those are the two ways that you can um, put bearings on and that's another good way um, especially when changing wheels if you're just changing your wheels and not um, you know, cleaning your bearings, you can take them out with your axle and then you can put them in the new wheels either using your axle or using your fingers like this. Alrighty, so now we've got all our wheels together. We want to put them, well, with the bearings in, sorry, we want to put them back on our skates. So pop them on, put the nut on. I normally screw it in a little bit with my fingers grab your t-tool and you want to tighten it so the ideal uh, tightness for your wheels is see how my wheels still moving you don't want that you want to put them on just just keep doing it a little bit at a time till you can no longer hear that sound a little bit is okay So there's a little bit, but my wheel still spins. So you can't hear this sound anymore, but my wheel still spins. So it's the, uh, the nut's not completely flush against the bearing, but it's on enough that it doesn't make this sound anymore. So there you have it. That's how you change your wheels. Take your bearings out, clean the bearings, and put it all back together. 
hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know any suggestions you have for future videos in the comments below. And I'll see you next time.